everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to draw this image in AutoCAD 2021. So let's get started. As I used to before, I will put this image for an easy work in AutoCAD. First of all, we will draw this line, these two lines actually. So first of all, it will be 28 and the next one it will be the difference so 108 minus 28 it will be 80 units after that we need here a circle let me show you we need here a circle with the diameter 19 as you see so i will go with draw you can also click here for the window version i'll go with diameter exactly here so it will be 19 after that over 28 units exactly here we have another another circle with the radius or yeah with the radius 12 but in this point and this point we have in for each side the same circle with the radius 22 so we will draw it also i will go another circle for this time it is the radius as you see so i will put radius 22 in the other part we will draw but first this is 28 the line of 28 units so it is here and we will draw the radius 12 first and again circle and the other radius it will be 22 like in the other side now i will draw two lines and after that we will start to trim every time pay attention because this drawing it will be a little bit hard so pay attention to every detail now i'll go to trim to see to be our drawing more visible more clearly okay yeah also these two parts okay now we start to look better okay i can delete this one I recommend you to draw two lines it doesn't matter the size and I will show you later why and now from this part two lines too okay and you see here that we have a line a parallel line actually from this so this is the diameter of the small circle and then we need to have a parallel line on the distance of 14 units so let's draw the first line okay offset now with 14 units i can delete it now and i will extend it a little bit now we have here a little radius of three units so we will go here exactly like this fillet radius air from radius actually and free exactly like this in the other sorry so fillet radius free okay and now i will start to trim everything so trim this part dress part Yeah, and those two lines I can easily delete. Yeah, and the circles too, now. And it looks perfect. Okay, let's continue now. In the other side, we have here another two circles. You see here that the smallest circle in this part is with the diameter of 28 something so i will choose the value for the diameter 28.55 let's say it doesn't matter too much so i will go again to draw a circle diameter for uh, i said you before on the windows version you can click here and to choose this is the macbook version diameter and i will put it here 28.55 again i will try again so circle diameter 28.55 and I have it the other circle 
it is let me see I will activate the line every time to see where is my where is my point the other the diameter is 50 okay so I will go directly with circle in this case it's radius as you see so I'll put 25 okay after that we have here a little detail as you see here so this part have the diameter 6.3 and 3.15 as we see here this line is longer than the other so this one the longest line is 6.3 so I will draw exactly like this I'll go from this side with exactly half 3.15 make sure that ortho to be active so draw straight lines only straight lines 3.15 now we can go with mirror or you can uh, draw another line it doesn't matter no now the join command to make one line And now I draw this little line of 6.3, but now we need to do an offset with 3.15. So offset 3.15, delete this line, go with another two lines here, trim command. Okay, right now it's perfect till here. Then we will need to focus on this side, on this part. So you see here that we have a 45 angle. We must go exactly here. I will disable this command and I will activate the polar tracking. But I will show you how. Go with settings and I will explain here I have two angles. The first one we need it's exactly 45 degrees here so I will go in this side here I have 45 degrees here I have 90 degrees 135 180 270 plus 45 degrees so or basically it's 300 minus 45 so let me show you 300 degrees minus 45 I need an angle of 315 so this is exactly what we will do I will activate this one and now every time when I want to draw lines with this angle it will already have it you see this grand line this is our line so let's draw we need a line here with 54 degree 54 units sorry find the green line and write 54 now we need another offset but not yet we need a line here exactly here with the length of 5 but that I, as I used you before let's say here it's 180 plus 45 180 plus 45 I need 225 degrees so again I will activate 225 and I will draw a line exactly of this point yeah you see I found it and five units I will put from this point I will add a circle with the radius 10 I have it now I can make it longer this line I will extend it and now it's the time to trim uh, look quite similar right after that you can also delete this line you don't need it anymore this line too next I will I will go in the other side it will be very very easy to mirror everything here but unfortunately 
this here we have an angle not 45 like this 30 so i'll go in this middle and let me show here we have 50 uh, 58 not 54 like in the previous case so i will go with add key 58 and now the angle it will be 30 okay wonderful now we draw this line here so we need an offset with 12 and then an offset with 17 with 5 sorry so offset 12 and offset 5 and here it is but I will make it longer here I have a 90 degrees angle it is not a problem good and now we can go with another step so we'll build this circle we'll, again with the radius 10 from here as I said you before pay attention to details these two lines I can delete it, three lines actually. This one I will extend. Oops. So here I have an angle of, I will activate also here, 30. So I can oh no, go back, okay. And go exactly like this. Now is the time to trim. And I have those two things. Right now we need the other circle here, the circle. And you see is the radius 38. So I'll go exactly in the same middle. I'll press the radius 38. And I will have it now. I have here radius 12 in both sides. So fillet radius 12. Fillet radius 12. And I will start to go back here. And here I have the first one, the first circle. Let me show you. Here is the radius 32. So I will go again with another circle, but from this center. Radius 32. I will go now with the tangent line. So line, shift, right click tangent select this circle again shift right click tangent and select the other circle and i have a tangent line for both circles repeat this part so line shift right click tangent good now we need a radius here of 76 you see is the same radius in both sides but for this one i cannot build for the circle so i need go with this one for this i cannot use fillet because the fillet it will build a radius like this and i need an overhang so i will go with circle at the circle menu for the windows version tangent tangent radius so select the exterior part of this circle and type 90 and it will automatically build a circle trim and i have what i need now repeat this procedure in the in the other uh, place so go with draw tangent tangent radius select this one this one and press 90 trim again i have now i can trim also the circle too why not pay attention to not delete something that you actually need it and now we need just this radius so if you let radius 76 
go with this circle and the same thing in the other side fillet radius 76 and you see now I, I don't have here this part but also delete this circle okay and let's build again this little arch so tangent tangent radius this one this one press 90 and let's draw the other and to and to trim at the end so tangent tangent radius select select press 90 and let's trim now I need it okay okay basically it's look the same <laughs> the measurements are good let's verify again so I have it I have it everything is here okay so here it is our drawing I hope this video helped you if you like this video share with others to see as usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.